Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome or welcome back. Star Selling to Oracle YouTube channel. I like stars community. Cat Star here with your October 2024 monthly reading. As a reminder, my readings are for entertainment and are general in nature. They may or may not resonate for everybody. So please do take what is for you and leave it as isn't for those of you liking and sharing the videos. Thank you so, so much. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to all of the new and returning viewers and subscribers and to the channel members. Thank you all so, so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. All right. Well, here we are moving right on into October. <sighs> Alrighty. Hmm. It's uh, just a flying right on by. Certain times it seems to slow down, but flying on by. All right. Do make sure that you stay till the end as we do have the die. So we will pull some of those, see if there's an extra message that is ready to or needs to come out all right let's go ahead and see we're gonna go ahead and do all right here we are let's go ahead and move these out of the way we're gonna see what needs to come through for you aquarius here for october 2024 i haven't even looked at the setup here so um not really <laughs> okay hopefully that's a little better anyway um we'll move some of this stuff over here so it's in a little better the shot all right all right let's go ahead and see so your current energy your overall energy Ooh, some of you that ten of wands energy some of you are feeling the weight okay feeling uh, a little bit stressed some of you feel a bit burdened feel like there's a lot of responsibility on your um, kind of shoulders right feeling obligated just burnt out man i'm telling you i i some of you probably know if you've been here for a minute that i have been under the weather and um had a bit of a cold or whatever it was now it's turned into kind of a um uh, sinus infection and my head is just and you know all the things and I'm like oh I just you know what if I could just take like three or four days off and not do anything um, that would be fabulous and yet a lot of times that just isn't um, something that we can do in the real world kind of energy right and so some of you this is how you're feeling there is there uh, a few of you that are feeling accomplished feeling as if you have been been moving kind of mountains or moving towards right what it is maybe it's a house maybe it's moving maybe it's whatever it may be it, it may not have anything to do with any of that for you specifically but some of you have been feeling as if you just have been really working um and you're ready for a little bit of time off or you're ready to reach the destination okay that's your your energy your overall energy or your current energy moving into october so let's see something important to think about is gratitude isn't that beautiful okay like as the wheels are turning i don't know if you can see that right there as the wheels are turning make sure that you're holding on to really tuning into that gratitude okay even when you're feeling burned out um stressed as as burdened as if right sometimes we can move into a space of resentment and spirits indicating that the something important to think about or to tune into is going to be gratitude for you moving into the month of October and beginning now whenever you see this okay life is one big continuous circle of giving and receiving energy okay now you may be feeling as if you're giving out a lot but do know that it's coming back around right moving in circles the wheels are turning okay um so do know that it is coming back around and October is going to show you uh, something is almost as something is being unveiled or shown to you in October that maybe you had been missing or hadn't been seeing or it feels like it's a missing piece the wheels are coming back around things are turning back around here in October okay be thankful for who and what's in your life instead of complaining about what you don't have or who isn't or what you have to do or how much you have to right um it, this is like almost the counterintuitive or complete opposite that wheel spinning that turning okay uh from this into this in October okay 
Um, if you focus on gratitude, you'll start to attract prosperity and abundance. You see, we move from feeling burdened or regret or uh, stressed or unhappy or burned out or whatever into a space of gratitude of the wheels turning of things coming back around or turning around or that giving out of energy right um coming back into an energy of, of turning around into receiving okay so prosperity and abundance are coming in are ready to come in aquarius we get to get to listen we get to shift our perspectives shift our way of thinking. I have been feeling this way a bit too, Aquarius. So this is, um, you know, this is this is all of us uh, coming together. When we can shift from this kind of a perspective to this kind of perspective as a collective, we can change. I know it sounds wild, um, but we can change the air, the energy in the collective. Okay, so that is something to think about here in October. October is a big month. It's a it's a fun month for those that uh, like the season that we're moving into here in October, which I definitely do. Uh, and there's a lot of uh, fun things happening going on, or there's a potential for that, okay, for many. And moving into the state of gratitude really pulls those that are important to us, the situations, the events, the things that are actually important to us that we want to focus on. Uh, into perspective instead of the stuff that feels heavy or burdening or even that potential for shifting into a space of um, kind of uh, resentment or even regret we don't want to go there we want to shift that back into that space of how lucky we are right um, and and sometimes that can be hard if you're feeling that way like I said I've been feeling a bit burnt out uh, uh, as well we've talked about a bit burned um, in even a bit resentful in some spaces so this is a, a place for all of us to be able to um, think about what's really important, re kind of focus and move back into a space of gratitude, of, of joy, of happiness for what is and what will be. Okay. Now something to surrender in October, current comp comparisons with other people. Okay. Current comparisons with other people. So uh, keep your eyes trained on yourself, right? Focus. Here's what we've been talking about on your own strengths, attractiveness, and power, right? Shift that perspective back into gratitude. We don't need to focus on comparing ourselves with other people, other people's journey, other people's place on their path, what have you, because we're on our own. We need to be able to hold that focus on what our big picture is, what's important for us, where we're going, and stop comparing ourselves to others because we don't know their whole story. Sometimes we see a highlight. Sometimes we see uh, something that we are like, oh, that's so amazing. Why isn't that happening for me? But we don't know what they went through or where they've been or what's happened on their path or their journey to get them to that space. I Either. We can see highlight reels, but Spirit's indicating, of course, this is the time to focus on your own high re highlight reels and your own path, your own journey, what it is that you are ready to expand into because there is a, an expansion energy coming in October, right? We are moving out of this <gasps> stressful, oh, excuse me, something <laughs> scared me. Okay, so there might be something that might be... Um, that was pretty, like something hit the window outside, but that was very scary. So it is that time moving into that scary, that energy. Okay. But, um, we're moving out of this space. Okay. Of feeling burdened or feeling stressed or what have you. And back into that space of gratitude. October is a space of really holding on to, right? Um, and there may be some scary things. <laughs> So, you know, okay, a lesson coming in on October is love. How beautiful. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Do we see a pattern? Okay. There's a pattern coming through. We don't need to compare ourselves with others because we have our own spaces, places for gratitude, for joy, and we are on our own path. Love is all around us. Sometimes we don't allow ourselves to see that. Okay. Sometimes we feel stressed. We feel burdened and we can um, get a bit uptight. So Spirit's indicating focus back in on love, okay? Commit to the practice in seeing 
the love and the good in all things and all people and all situations and all places in intention. Okay. There are places where we do need to see people's true intentions and that can feel scary. <laughs> just like that, right? Um, but that is a space where we need to be as well. We need to be able to see that truth. We need to be able to see and understand all of the things that are happening and going on, okay? Interesting, interesting. Okay, sorry, there's a little, <laughs> my little hamster is making noise. Okay, um, next is what's coming in. Oh, that rest and relaxation, okay? You've got that rest and relaxation coming through. Some of you are going to be able with this Four of Swords to be able to take a step back. This is where I'm feeling like, okay, this is going to be me taking a little bit of a, um, a, a rest or a step back to recuperate, okay? This is um, having that energy. Also, this energy of com contemplation, really allowing yourself to think about kind of all of the things that have been showing themselves to you, the lessons, the learnings, the experiences, and what you uh, are feeling about that, thinking about that, and where you can kind of lean into or lean away from, or where you can focus on or focus out of, right? Um, not pay as much attention to or give as much energy to, and what you can really allow yourself to um, take a kind of break from, okay? This is recuperation. This is also a form of self-protection, kind of pulling away from certain things that aren't working and moving into, leaning into what is, okay? So there is a space of sanctuary that is coming in in October for you, Aquarius, a place of getting to take a step back, uh, relax, recuperate, rejuvenate, and I am ready for this, okay? I am so ready for this. I am ready to take a little a little breather, okay, if you will, all right? Now, what you don't see coming is the King of Swords. Wow, Aquarius, this King of Swords energy coming in here, this is that energy of really um, having this, there's a truth that is coming out. There's a strength that is showing up. There's this energy of really moving into kind of that ambitious focused energy. Okay. Ambitious focused energy where you are putting your focus, your ambition on the things that actually matter here in October. Okay. So you won't see this coming. There's going to be a shift, a pivot, something big coming through in October. It's as if the light is turned on or somebody, um, does the light switch turns out or, or, or snaps, flips, flips something and allows for you to see things in a whole new light. You won't see that coming Aquarius, but it is going to create that space for gratitude, for that love, for that rejuvenation, that taking that step back, being able to see kind of a bigger picture. Okay. So that's huge. Your advice or your advice or guidance is the seven of wands coming in here. And isn't that an interesting thing? Persevere. Okay. Just keep moving forward. Stay in the space of gratitude through October. Stay in the space of love let go of any, um, or surrender any needs or, or wants to compare with other people. Really allow yourself to, um, well, I mean, if you were a fly on the wall, Aquarius, what might you see that you don't see now? Okay. You might not see this other person's journey, this other person's story, this other person's challenges, struggles, what has gone on, their experiences, their knowledge, uh, the situations, the events that led up to what you might be seeing um, in real time or right now or, or comparing yourself with, okay? They had to persevere. They had to uh, rise above. They had to really allow themselves to maintain and stand up and really um, allow for things to come through. For some, this was a difficult time and spirits indicating for you, Aquarius, that even though you may be going through or you may have difficult times, which we all do, October may not be any different, but spirits indicating to persevere, Aquarius, because you will overcome, okay? There is an overcome. There is a big energy of expansion in October, okay? It's as, again, as if the light switch has been turned on or that that's split second something shifts and that gratitude that love come in overflowing of Christ and you have that rejuvenation that new perspective that that shift uh, that is going to be um, very pivotal for you moving forward okay now let's go it could be scary as well we have that little scary moment coming through so let's go ahead and see what the dice have to say all right we've got a 
So A could be initials. It could be um, kind of your initials, somebody else's initials, okay? Um, you've got the number 10. So the 10th could be a big uh, day for you, a big number for you. The number 10, 10 could come through, okay? Uh, as we have 10 here and we have 10 here, okay? Uh, so that current overall energy, 10, 10 is overcoming. It's a completion. It's moving past, okay? And you have state here and him, okay? So state here, him, spirit is indicating to get a few more dice out here, okay? So you've got J, you've got I. You, wah, this is so interesting. It's all letters, okay? You, so this could be J, J-A-Y came out. It could be hey, no, that's an I. Um, you've got a Q coming out here, okay? So the letters are A, Y, I, J, and Q, okay? So it could be initials, could have some sort of meaning for you. They could spell something out. Uh, Quay, J, right, what have you. The only one more word came out, and that's not. State, here, him, not, okay? Here is an I am here, okay? Not, um... Okay, so I am here, not here like I can hear him with my ears, but um, you've got, so here, not him here, not him here, state. So for some of you, that first thing with the house or moving or whatever, um, he may not be there in that state. I don't know if that means anything for you or not, but for some of you, it might mean something. Um, state him here, him state not um, however that comes through or resonates for you, uh, if it does, okay. For some, it may not be him, or he may not be there, or it may not be the state, or he may not be in the state, okay. Also, there is a state that we can shift into from this to this, okay. So that's a reminder as well, so it's indicating, all right. That is what I have. I do intend this resonated with you and for you. If it did, please do hit the like button and share this video. It does help others to be able to see these messages. That might not. Otherwise, also feel free to hit the subscribe button right down below and the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload new readings. It is free for you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and it does support the Lucky Stars community in growing and thriving. As always, I do wish you lots of hope, lots of joy, and lots and lots of love with all of your current and future endeavors. I'll see you in the next reading.